when your parents leave you, it, it does it, it just leaves such a massive gap and an empty space in your life. And you know, when you come home, especially that's when you feel it the most because you come home and you think that you're going, you can't go home and they're not going to be there. And I think one of the worst things for me is that when something happens, you can't just ring them up and say, "Oh, I've done this today," or "I've done that today." And and it's just the little things, really. You know, if you, I'm quite lucky that I've got other people that care about me and love me and that are trying the best to fill to fill that gap, but they can't. It's not the same. So. Yeah, you definitely need. Well, it, it does help to have people around that try to understand and just listen and be there for you. Um, but you know, they can't ever feel what you're feeling. But you know, as long as you've got some support there, I think that helps a massive amount. There's a lot of messages to give to to bereaved kids and and people out there. You know, just. That just remember what they would want you to be. I think my parents would want me to be happy and not to be upset about them not being here all the time um, because then your life will stop and that's the last thing they'd ever want. Um, although it's easy for me to say, but I want, I'll, it's hard to do that because you miss them so much. It is hard to just try and get on with your life and think about what they would want. Um, but you've got to watch, you're just going to end up sitting in the corner crying all the time and it's not going to help anybody. You, you know, I think there's times where I say to myself, right, today I'm just going to be sad and I'm going to cry because I want to. And I think that just give you, like, yourself a bit of time to do that and then say, OK, I've done that today. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cry tomorrow. I'm going to do something. And I'm just, I think it's a good balance for me to, to pick them times where, you know what, today I'm upset, so I'm just going to let it happen. Because the more you fight it, the longer it goes on. It goes on for another day and another day. I think if you just allow yourself to have that time where you just think, right, today that's it, and then you move on. So, yeah, hopefully that, that helps. I think they would be immensely proud of me, and um, I think about them all the time when I'm training, and I try and imagine, you know, whatever I'm going through in training is not anything compared to the pain that they went through. So it does help me to, to train, and I think they would be really proud of that.